Do you know about my app? It is Neela Bakore Tutorials. On this, I'm conducting live interactive classes with doubt solving sessions and DPPs. The link is given in the description below. So don't forget to download. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. In this chapter of human health and diseases, so far we talked about all different types of diseases based on the causative agent, that is bacterial diseases, viral diseases, Hellman diseases and so on. Now we will be talking about another very important aspect which is associated with diseases and that is called immunity. So what is this immunity and then we will come to the types. Immunity is the ability of the body of an organism to defend itself from uh, the pathogens that is the uh, organisms which cause disease. So immunity is the ability of an organism to protect itself or defend itself from a pathogen that is a disease causing organism. Now we can classify this immunity into two categories depending upon when and how we get this immunity. The first is called innate immunity. Innate means the immunity that we have from birth. Or in other words, we can say that we are born that with this type of defense mechanism. And the second is the type of immunity which we acquire after we are born. So this is called acquired immunity. So these are the two main heads under which we divide or classify the immunity. Now this innate, that means the one with which we are born. So we are born with some defense mechanism. This type of immunity, that is the innate one, is non-specific. That means this immunity is going to be same for any kind of pathogen which enters into our body. And what about acquired? This is the immunity which we get after birth. And it is specific to a particular type of pathogen. So we will talk about this acquired immunity later on. Let us first see what are these uh, types of innate immunity. So here basically these are all barriers which we have. So first is physical barriers. The second are physiological barriers. Third, this is different. So we are talking of innate first. Third, the cellular barriers. And the fourth are called cytokine barriers. Physical barrier means there is a layer or a membrane which is going to protect the pathogens or the disease causing organisms uh, from getting into our body. So physical barrier is like our skin. So our skin is a physical barrier. It protects our body from the surrounding. So from surrounding that is in air or water, if there is any pathogen or a disease causing organism, it cannot penetrate this physical barrier of ours. So chances of infection are when there is a cut, when this barrier is broken down. Then there is some other uh, mechanism which is going to protect us. But it is a physical barrier. So outside of the body is a barrier. That means on the inner lining also there would be a barrier. So there are two areas which are coming in contact with our uh, surrounding. One is the external one. The second is when we inhale. 
So it is the same air which is around us is actually going into our respiratory tract. So the mucous membrane or the mucous lining of our respiratory tract also acts as a barrier. Similarly, the food which we eat, so the substances from outside that goes into our body, so there has to be a lining which is going to protect us from that food or if there is any kind of pathogen there. That means the mucous membrane of respiratory tract, digestive tract, even the reproductive tract. They also act as physical barriers. So physical barrier is nothing but a membrane which is going to protect our body from any kind of foreign a particle or a disease causing organism. Now what is physiological barrier? Physiological bar barrier basically means the secretions of the physical barrier. So what is the secretion which is going to help us? So here we will take example of acid which is produced in our digestive system, in our digestive system. This hydrochloric acid, if we uh, write down the functions of hydrochloric acid, apart from activation of pepsin, giving proper pH, there is one more function which is it kills the pathogens which are present in the food that we eat. And this acid is secreted by the mucous membrane. There are gastric glands in the mucosa and that acid protects us. Similarly, in uh, tears and saliva, there is a bactericidal enzyme that is called lysozyme. So these secretions they protect again our body from these disease causing. This is called physiological. Now if you come to cellular barrier that means there are some cells which are going to protect our body. Suppose if by crossing this physical barrier that is suppose there is a cut in the skin or there is a damage or ulcer in the mucous membrane of gastric ju or gastric glands or stomach then the pathogen has entered in our blood or in the tissue, then there should be something else which is going to protect us. So there are cells like our WBCs, which are called polymorphonuclear leukocytes, polymorphonuclear leukocytes. And when we talk of these polymorpho, that means we are mainly talking about the soldiers, that is uh, neutrophils. So, neutrophils. Apart from WBCs, there are other phagocytic cells which are generally termed as macrophages. And depending upon the location, we have given different names to these macrophages. Like Kupfer cells of liver, dust cells of lungs, microglia of nervous tissue. So these are the cells which are going to help in protection of our body. So they are the cells. So this is a cellular level. And we are born with all these things. We are born with skin. We are born with this mucous membrane. We are born with all these secretions which are produced. And we have these cells from our birth. So these are all innate immunity types. And the fourth is cytokine barriers. Now here there is a substance which is called interferon. Interferons, they are proteins. They are secreted by virus infected cells. So if a cell of our body gets infected by a virus, then that infected cell is going to secrete interferon. And what are these interferons going to do? 
virus infected cells they secrete this interferon and interferon protects other cells from infection. So, if there is a situation that there are some cells in our body, some cells get infected by a virus. So, those infected cells will secrete interferons and those interferons will make the other cells less susceptible to infection. That means the chances of other cells getting infected would be less due to interferon and these interferons are secreted by virus infected cells. And we have all these four things from our birth. So this is called innate immunity. We are born with this type of immunity. And now the next one is acquired. That means the immunity which we gain after we are born. So in the next part we will talk about acquired immunity.